Alright, hi there YouTube, it's me, Morseed America, and I'm doing a review over Transcendent Celine, or I'm gonna talk about her. It's not a review because the Korean tier list does not have her on, on the list because, you know, she got released yesterday, so... Uh, we're gonna go through her abilities, see what she can offer, and uh, I, I want to know your comments, your opinions about Celine. I know that she's an archer, and just glancing at her abilities beforehand, She's great for world boss, both her and the other guy, which is like a demon lord. I'll, I'll be calling him demon lord more than... Actually, no, like, it's supposed to be a K, not a C. Karius? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but if you guys want to correct me on him, or like, correct me on the pronunciation, just let me know in the comments. But anyways, yeah, Selene. And you might be wondering, why am I doing her instead of Ravengill and all the other transcendent allies? It cut... <laughs> Funny story about that, I was trying to draw a few days ago, or technically, since I'm recording it today, I drew yesterday, and I had a sketch where I could put two characters together, and I was like, you know what, let me let me figure out who to put together, and I ended up uh, shipping Celine and Llewellyn together. Yeah. And if you don't know the term shipping, pretty much it means I made them into a couple. And uh, the picture I have, the fan art I drew, I put it on Super's Twitter account. It's also on my Twitter account. If you guys want to see it, I'll have it in the description below. I also put it up on the Discord for Dragon Blaze in the fan art tab. Depending on how many messages have been placed in there, you may not see it. You may need to screw up. So yeah, and I'll also have that fan art at the end of this video. But yeah, I decided to do some Yuri fan art for fan, fan art for you guys fan service so yeah and if you're questioning why I did that it's because I can't so <laughs> yeah let, let, let's get started before I end up messing up this small segment recorded part and just restart it all right so transcended Celine is an archer class character she is the second Titan archer you might be wondering, what do you mean by second? In chapter 5, we will get her somewhere after the Art Buster release. And once again, chapter 5 is a long way for Global. In the Korean Dragon Blaze, we already have her, so yeah, she just got released yesterday. You can see there at the release date. And uh, yeah, her weapon is a bow and quiver, she's physical damage, she's ranged. Uh, if you're wondering what sort of cards you want to look for, I'm guessing boss damage or varied damage. We could talk about that in the comments. So if you guys got suggested uh, U cards or like the specific things we want to get, then list them down there. Because in the Korean tier list, they haven't updated themselves just yet because she just got released yesterday. But yeah, here's the cool thing though, when it comes to making Transcendent Selene in Chapter 5, we do not need a key for her. All we need to do is get her deified form at ultimate status, 50 Transcended Essences and 50 million gold, and that's it. Keys are... the keys are still in the game, it's just that I don't know if we're gonna get compensated for it. And if you're wondering why they took out the keys in the Korean Dragon Blaze, or why it's taken out later, it's due to the fact that it's kind of a waste to put a bunch of resources in a key when, when the big emphasis is on the Transcended Allies, so to get a key to like ultimate status, you still need to spend a good 320-ish Transcended Essences and a good amount of Triple S Allies. The Triple S Allies are very important, especially when it comes to arcing your Transcended Allies. Instead of using 63 Triple S Allies to get from base to ultimate status, you need 90 three triple s allies to get from base to arc status right away so yeah that's eh, yeah that that's that's a big deal so triple s allies are very important you may well i'll shut up about that tip and advice thing but let's get started and talk about transcendent Celine. 
And if you're wondering what you want to get on her when it comes to gems and abilities on her equipment, most likely critical damage, critical rate increase, uh, defense penetration, dexterity, and you want to use the green gems because that increases her dexterity. So, oh also, if you guys want to look at this, I'll have the link in the description below. And another thing before I start reading off her abilities, when I glance at her stuff, she is so much of a gunner class, like all of her abilities emphasize on her guns or her doing something with her gun. So yeah. And apparently her normal attack states this. Depending on the loaded bullets, inflicts physical or magical damage to one target. That sounds pretty- wait a second, so she's physical and magical? That's kind of handy. Huh, I didn't know that. Now I know something. Anyways, her first active skill, Perfect Rifle. Celine instantly loads 14 bullets of armor-piercing shells. Consumes one bullet for each normal attack to inflict 600% damage and 320% piercing damage to one enemy. Increases the target's received physical damage by 25%, stacking up to three times, meaning 75%. Inflicts two times its damage to boss type units. Armor piercing shells are loaded when the number of warriors, rogues, or archers in the allied party is more than the number of mages. And encanters. Dang. Second active skill, Miracle Magnum. Is this my first time seeing someone use? Is this the first time that an archer actually has a physical and magical ability? That's unique. So, Miracle Magnum. Selene instantly loads 14 bullets of Anti Titan. Consumes one bullet for each normal attack to inflict 600% damage and 320% piercing damage to one enemy. Increases the target's received magic damage by 25%, stacking up to three times. Inflicts two times its damage to boss type units. Anti Titan bullets are loaded when the number of mages and encanters are in the allied party is more than the numbers of warriors and rogues and archers. Cool down for this one second. So pretty much, first and second active ability is the same, except second active ability appeals more to the magical side of things, and this will increase... Yeah, wait, wait. Anti-tentative bullets are loaded when the... Okay, yeah. She, she can load more bullets faster for her second ability if she has more mages and canters and if she has a bunch of physical based classes like the uh, warrior, rogues, or archers then her first active ability will be handy. Wait, where, where's the paladin? It's like they forgot the paladin and they, and they forgot the healer. But then again, they don't do that much damage I guess. Anyways, third active skill, Precision Shot. Inflicts 1,640% damage to one enemy with 100% accuracy, and inflicts- no wait, accuracy T. Accuracy T? Is that a word? I think they meant accuracy, but yeah, ac accuracy, and inflicts the mark of snipe for 11.6 seconds. Allied attacks on marked enemies never miss. Additionally, Selene's attacks marked enemies with guaranteed headshots, immune to dispel. This skill inflicts physical or magical damage based on bullets loaded. Cooldown for this is 18.7 seconds. That sounds dangerous. Her first passive skill, Camouflage. Upon entering the battlefield, Selene vanishes, becoming unable to be attacked by the enemy. The Vanish is lifted only when Selene is the last party member alive. Oh god. Yeah, she could stay invisible forever as long as your party is like alive. <laughs> second active skill. No, excuse me, second passive skill. <laughs> headshot. Normal attacks have a 30% chance to headshot. Headshot attacks ignores 50% of the target's defense, inflicts 
two times the damage and always hit critical. Yeah. 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 Selene is like Wen Loon and Llewellyn combined. Her max skill is called Lock On. Increases additional boss damage by 72% for itself. Her ultimate her ultimate ability is called One Shot. One punch, one shot. <laughs> Precision shot additionally increases normal attack damage by 180%. Additionally, the effects of the bullets are immune to dispel and stack up to six times. Oh god. And then her arc status, musket, ma mus musket master, increases additional boss damage by 110% for self, while camouflage is active, increases normal attack damage by 500%, oh my god. Uh, you can't even hit her, unless like, oh god, that sounds deadly. So yeah, that's that's pretty much. Hold on, I want to, I want to I, I, I stare at. I want to quickly stare at who do I want to stare at? I want to stare at Llewellyn and Wen Loon and Blood. Actually, no, I just read Bloodwind's abilities because of that previous video talking about the changes that will kick in when Chapter Five comes in. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have that video at the end of this one or in the in the description below. But yeah, if you're in global, you may want to watch that video because it talks about the nerfs for certain transcend I mean, for most of the transcendent allies when Chapter Five gets released. Actually, did I? Not why? Why did it go back to Celine? I did not want to go back to Celine. G give me to the Korean. Go. Okay, Korean help. So what I want to do? Dang it. Okay, okay, hold on. This is the wrong button I want to click on. Where is the... 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 Alright, so I decided to cut away because I end up rambling about a bunch of stuff and I was all over the place. So, pretty much from what I looked at, all of the other archers are pretty decent in their own modes. They do inflict some sort of damage to world bosses and apparently like all of the arches are very 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 handy for Sybris however I'm wondering who's the best out of all of them right now it looks like Selene is kind of up there but Hyperion is still okay Winloon is still good for certain things uh arrow triggers I think arrow trigger and Tracy are kind of good for Sybris still uh, I mean, all of the arches are good for Cybrus, it's just that I think... Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what she's good in, because from what I'm looking at, or from what I saw, she's kind of handy for most world bosses? Maybe? I don't think she... I mean, like, maybe she can do a... I, I think she can do more damage. Then Hyperion and Hydra, but I might be wrong because Hydra has a lot of heads and she doesn't have a lot of AoE abilities. And Hyperion has an AoE ability because he has a damn cannon. So, yeah, let me know about her strengths, strengths and weaknesses. I don't think she'll be handy for tag matches unless I'm wrong. Because if she can kill them instantly before they get into the battlefield, then that's kind of deadly. So, yeah, just just lay it on me, guys. Teach me about Celine and all her good stuff and <laughs> yeah you guys will see the fan art soon so thank you guys for watching let me know down below as well if you like Celine's concept concept if you think her abilities are a mash of like most of the archers in the game I think she emphasized a lot on what Llewellyn and Winloon could be when you combine those two together because if you look at Llewellyn's abilities she also has the two different bullets and I was wrong with my previous statement talking about like uh, Llew Llewellyn was I mean like uh, her being the first archer character to have two separate bullets no it, it was Llewellyn that's why I was like I feel like Llewellyn had something special about her but I don't remember and my fan art has Llewellyn being uh, dominated by this chick so yeah 
But anyways, uh, Wind Loon was also good, it's just that they kind of nerfed her after the Chapter 5 release, and... Selene's kind of up there, like holy shoot, she got a camouflage that will last forever, and she cannot get targeted unless she's the last member. So if you're fighting against her in PvP, and she still has a bunch of allies alive, and she's still alive herself, I think that's kind of uh, dangerous. But then again, I haven't looked at the Demon Lord's ability. Thank you guys for watching this. I'll see you guys around. Peace.